cue the music. <laughs> uh, welcome to our hunting trailer. Uh, so we bought this last spring. It's just a 14, it's a Doolittle. It's a 14 foot trailer. Nothing special about it at all. Um, but we did some cool stuff to it. But first, some of the stuff that we use. Uh, propane bottle for the heater which is a direct vent propane furnace, a little bit different than I've ever seen. Um, coolers and such. This one is the silo. I think it's like a six gallon or something, but we can just push this button and get water out of it, which is really nice. A um, little fold out table. That's the Honda, it's a 2200i companion. Um, 30 amp, has a 30 amp and a 20 amp plug for the generator for charging the battery if we need it. And it runs the electric heater inside if we need to help bump things up a bit. So on the other side, there's a, there's a, like a shore power plug, but this trailer actually came with an RV style latch, but come inside. So everything you see we've done to it. The first thing I did was tore all this wallboard off and insulated it with foam insulation. And we just got the ceiling done not too long ago with the insulation. The floor is not insulated though. Um, but for the ceiling we used corrugated steel and then it's not, I would say we're mostly done, but it's not finished obviously. Um, but it's going to be like wood trim that goes around the vent and back out. So we put the vent in, which is just simple like vent with a fan on it. Um, so when we're cooking in here, we can vent it out or if it's really hot, which it can get, we vent it out. This is the heater that we put in. It's a Ashley 11,000 BTU uh, propane. It's a direct vent furnace. So it directly vents out as you can see there. Um, the reason we did this instead of going with something like a buddy heater or something is buddy heaters are ventless and carbon monoxide can be a big problem and they're just kind of a wet heat. They don't dry things out very well. Um, this dries out, damn it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> this dries out things really well. Um, it is just like a radiant. It doesn't have a fan in it. So this is just like one of those uh, fans that goes on top of a wood stove and it actually circulates it quite well. Um, we can go into it later, but I drill a hole through the floor that I have a plug for. So when we're in transit, we plug it, but that lets the hose go down and then we hook it up on the outside on the propane bottle. And then right here is just a quarter turn, like a shut off valve. We found that when we turn this off, and the propane bottle is still on outside. Um, some propane leaks through, so we just put a hard shut off down there so it, there's no none of that going to be going on. Um, up to the front, uh, down to the back. <laughs> this is this is Edna's dog bed. It's a Yeti. It's pretty badass. We really like it a lot. Um, we put hooks up. We're going to put a lot more hooks because you need hooks to hang all kinds of stuff. Um, this is the bed. So what happens, what we wanted for this trailer was to be able to haul the side by side and then be able to live out of it when we get to where we're going and have it be a little bit more cush than like a tent. So uh, this is the bed. It is up pretty high, but we wanted to be able to like stack totes and stack things under it. So we've got like all of our bags under it. That's Edna's food. Um, we just use one of these blue water containers for water in here and just tip it over on there or on a tote, <laughs> killing it, um, or on a tote, and so we have plenty of water. That's another water deal we fill up for the shower, which is down there. We did uh, the first run of the shower. It's a little janky. There's going to be a lot of changes to it, but we did use it, and we did have hot water. So this is what stays up. It's a shower ring, and then um, we had to doctor this a little bit, but shower curtain goes around like so and there's a hole um, I drilled a hole in the floor about that big that we can cap off 
Um, and when we want to take a shower, we can uncap it. We have like a shower pan, which is really a cement mixing tub. And then I put a drain in the middle of it. <clears throat> we sealed it, put one of those slippy things so we don't fall. And then basically the shower is a, uh, shoot, what do you call them? Instant. Instant water heat, like an instant water heater. So all that stuff stays in its own little tote. And, uh, yeah, so that goes here. The, the, uh, the plug-in for the pump to pump water <laughs> into the, uh, into the instant water heater to then make showers right here. And I just put an on off switch right on it. So when you're in the shower, if there's like a catastrophic failure of like leaking or something, you can just, you can shut it off really fast. Um, oh yeah, the bed. So the bed is basically two sheets of plywood. This is three quarter inch plywood, um, unsanded, nothing special. These are two by fours. And this is e, what they call E-Track, and it's in a lot of trailers. You can put a bunch of different little clippy mounts on it, um, from like strapping four-wheelers down to stri um, putting straps on it, to this one is a two-by-four bracket. So they just unclip, clip on and off really easy. And then there's a two-by-four in the front here, and then a two-by-four in the back. And these two sheets are cut to equal size, so they just sit on top of the 2x4s. They don't fasten at all. And then we have a couple of cot pads rolled out. One of these little uh, foam pads that you get from Walmart to put on your bed. And then we we have a, a double sleeping bag, or just like whatever kind of pillows, blankets you need, or blankets you need for the inside. And then this fleecy one for the outer. Two pillows. And we put a little flip-up nightstand here. So these, I can't reach the other one, but those just uh, collapse the whole thing down flat to the wall. And then other bed stuff, we added a TV. So it's basically just a monitor with HDMI features. So we can plug it in, play DVDs, plug it into our computer, um, have a little like sound bar that goes to the TV up there. What else? We've got some rollout carpet to help a little bit with uh, like bare feet. I wouldn't want to wear bare feet on it now, but I think it helps a little bit with uh, the cold in the floor. This was Leah's deal. This is a porta potty. I never would have dreamed it up, I don't think, but it's really nice for being able to pee. Probably not a big deal for guys, but for girls it's like on point. Just being able to pee in here really quick and not have to go outside. It's really nice. This is our table, like our kitchen table. It has the same brackets as, as up there. So it folds, well, if I had everything away from the wall, it will fold down flat. And then when we get to where we're going, we just pick it up like that. And then we just have a couple of chairs to use to eat at. That's a box full of food. Um, this is the, like the front counter, more like the kitchen area. So, uh, basically just, this is a Vino's trailer. So we just filled the Vino's with a countertop that is basically just the same idea as the bed. We have E-Track with two by four brackets, a two by four runs along here. And then it's, this is like eighth inch sanded plywood that we stained and ran a little bit of poly coating on. And uh, this is what we use mostly for like our kitchening. It's a Pit Boss double burner uh, flat, like griddle top, is that what you call it? It's a griddle. That works really good. And then we have just a regular, just like a single burner that we can put a pot or a pan on. And those all run off of those little green propane bottles, which is pretty sweet. We hung up, uh, we have two cabinets. So this one, <clears throat> like coffee, snacks, stuff like that, we keep in there. And then this one, just keep random stuff also. Um, they're just, we got them both from Lowe's. They're just unfinished uh, kitchen cabinets. And then we bought the little pull handles for them, the little thingies that make them not supposed to come. They aren't supposed to come open, but 
in transit they do from time to time. So we got these little hook and eyelets just to make sure they don't come open. Um, a little accessory hanger for that kind of stuff. The electrical was uh, kind of interesting. So we have, this is like our master switch panel. So inside we can turn the, uh, turn the inside lights on and off and they're just LED strip lights. So they run the full length on uh, kind of above everything. They run the full length on both sides so we can have a lot of light. And then we have an outside light too. That's just an RV light, but we can turn it on and off. So we have an outside light, which is nice. Um, this other switch kind of runs like the TV and everything back there. Um, I wanted everything to be kind of like on a master switch. So if we, we can make sure everything's off when we leave. So down here, I've got, it's an interstate 110 amp hour AGM battery. It's a deep cycle battery. And that runs up to a lot of things. But uh, we have, <clears throat> this is just a simple battery charger. It's a NOCO Genius. I think it's a 10 amp. And when the generator is on or when we're plugged into a house, that will charge the battery. And then we have 100 watts of solar on the roof that come down and that will also charge the battery. And then we have a 700 watt inverter to go 12 volt to 110 for a refrigerator if we have it. And then from the battery, it goes up to a little fuse panel for all of our 12 volt that like runs the lights and the TV and all that stuff. I have a hard shot off for that. So if we're going to leave for a long time or for the trailer is going to stay parked, I can completely shut that off. So I know that nothing's drawn power. Um, the plug that comes through the wall splits. Oh man. It splits into two female plugs. So one plug has the battery charger hooked up and the other plug has this power strip on it. So you can, plug other things into the power strip, my computer, anything that kind of runs off of 110 if the generator is plugged in and on or whatnot. So radio and sound system. That's all I have. Oh yeah. Radio. This is just like a, it's a pioneer. I don't know what it is, but it's just like a CD deck. I got this mount from Amazon. It's just called an under the dash mount and I bolted it to the underside of the cabinet and then got it all hooked up to these speakers. I made these little boxes as like a test run and then we ended up using them. But the radio just turns on and off with this little switch on the side because I wanted it to be hard wired in and we can Bluetooth our phones through it and jam out, which we do often. We have a fire extinguisher for Leah's request. It's also a very good idea. We have Carbon monoxide that we put lower um, when we're actually using the trailer and then we have a fire alarm. This situation is a uh, from Davis Tents. It's supposed to go in a wall tent, but it's like a little cubby organizer and we just screwed it to the wall and it catches a lot of things as you can see, but super handy. Um, yeah, we have like a little battery monitor thing. This uh, turns the inverter on and off remotely. That's really all I, can, all I can think. Do you want to talk about anything? No. Okay. I'm the one that makes sure that we have all the safety things. <laughs> Fire extinguisher, carbon monoxide. She does. It's very good for me. But uh, that's pretty much all we got. It's not finished but it's close to being done.
Boom. <laughs> That's it. Pro tip, don't slam the door when your bed's up. Yeah, when you just make your bed, don't slam the door because all the dirt that was on the door will be on top of your bed. We learned that the hard way. <laughs> now we just padlock it up. We usually padlock the back in the front or in the side. And that's it. We can load up like, I don't know, we can set be set up in 30 minutes mm -hmm. and be like in the worst situation we had shit strung everywhere. We were like collapsed in 30 minutes and gone. So works good. Boop, boop. Now we're gonna go pack an elk out. Oh, 